Items Adder is an incredible, but also quite expensive plugin. There's no way around that, it just is. And if you only plan on using one or two of Items Adder's features, actually buying the plugin might not be worth it for you. Which is why many have been looking for free alternatives for popular Items Adder add-ons. For example, better ranks. A cool add-on that allows you to have custom ranks on your server. Requires items adder though. But with the power of resource packs, nautical ranks allows you to do it for free. And another very popular items adder add-on is custom escape menu, which like the name might suggest, allows you to customize your escape screen. Also requires items adder. But what if I told you that is also possible for free? Once again, with the power of a resource pack. Now, theoretically, I already knew that something like this would be possible with just a resource pack and nothing more. But I never found a good and popular pack that allowed you to do this. And Coding Cat had the same problem, who is a developer for Member Cat Studios and decided to make a resource pack that does this himself. Now I will leave a link to this page in the description down below, because resource packs on their own are quite limiting. And fortunately, this pack also has some limitations. For example, the image needs to be exactly 255 by 150 pixels, and there are small transparent cubes in every single corner of the image. This is to make the resource pack understand where to actually place the image. If you would not include this little square, your logo or any other image for that matter would also not be centered. Now to download it, on the right side you should see releases. For me the news release is 1.0.0, by the time you're watching this the version might have been changed. But you simply want to click on here and after that you want to click on the custom escape menu.zip file. It will start downloading. And after adding the resource pack to Minecraft, this is now what your escape menu will look like. So the four elements of this resource pack are the logo, the close escape menu button, the disconnect button, and then a card beneath the disconnect button. Now all the images you see right here are obviously placeholders and you can replace them with anything you want. So allow me to show you how to actually do that. So first up, make sure to drag the zip file we downloaded from GitHub onto your desktop or any other place where you want to edit it. Then we're gonna select it, right click, and then click on extract all. Doing this will give you a custom escape menu folder. And after you got it, we can delete the zip file. Now open up the folder and you should see three files and another folder called assets. You want to open that one. After that, open the custom escape folder. Then you want to go to the textures folder, open the escape menu folder, and then we finally found the textures. So all of these textures here, we can customize. And I would not recommend replacing them with your own textures, because doing that would break a whole lot of things. So instead of replacing these files, I would highly recommend editing these. So opening up these PNG files and putting whatever you want the buttons or logos to look like on top of what is already here. Now, for this editing, I would highly recommend using a website called Photobee. If you have Photoshop or you prefer any other program, simply go for it. It really doesn't matter. But if you want a free option, here you got it. So let's drag in the logo.png file just like that. It will open up. And when we hold Alt, we can zoom in. And this is the logo that we will have to replace. Now, you have to be careful. If we just completely remove this layer, it will also remove the small transparent squares in the corner of the image that the pack relies on to actually make everything display correctly. And you can actually see these squares as well. When you click on Alt and you zoom into the corner, you will start seeing that there is this very small square here. You can see it. It is very, very transparent and in-game you will not notice it, but it is there and it needs to stay there. But it's so small and tucked away in the corner that you're most likely not gonna hit it. But just keep in mind to not remove this layer. Instead, we can just select the eraser tool on the left and remove the entire member cat studios text without actually clicking on these corners because that will remove the square now i've made a beautiful little logo myself there it is <laughs> I'm bad at giving these hints, am I not? But we're gonna replace it with a subscribe text. So I'm just gonna place it around here. Seems like it's centered. If you want to be 100% sure that it is actually centered, you can select both of these layers and after that, just click on this alignment button, which will then center it completely. But hey, that's looking great. So now we can go to file, we can go to export as, PNG, make sure to keep everything here the same and then click on save. It will then appear in your downloads folder. And after that, we can simply drag it in, click on replace and there it is. This text successfully replaced. And in the same way I just showed how to do this, you can edit every single one of them. So simply uh, drag it in, erase the image that's already there, or just alter it the way you like. So I'm gonna now create an object that covers this text, just like that. Then I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool. I'm gonna grab this color, copy the hex ID. Then I'm gonna select the object 
again, make the object that color. Now the text is gone and we can put another text over it. For example, membercat.com. Doesn't that look great? Maybe just make it all caps. Membercat.com. Hey, that looks better. That's great. Let's go for it. By the way, this image, if you could call it that, is bigger than the actual card. So in theory, we could just also add a card beneath it. Like this, for example. And then we add some text. Hi there, smiley face. It says hi here. <laughs> well, guess the card will say hi here now. Okay, we're going to save it again. Go to file, export as PNG and save it how it is. After that, once again, replace it. And there we go. It's as easy as that. Now, after you've edited everything you want to edit, you simply want to go back to the root of the custom escape menu folder. And here you want to select everything, right click, and then compress to zip file. After doing that, we can give it a name. So I'm going to call it uh, CEM, custom escape menu. You. There we go. And now this is the new zip file we should use in game. 99% chance that after making your custom escape menu, you want to turn it into a server resource pack. So everybody that joins your server actually gets this resource pack applied to their clients. There are multiple different ways to turn a resource pack into a server resource pack, but the simplest way of doing it is going to MC Packs. Link can be found down below. Then you want to click on choose file and choose cem.zip, the pack we just made. Then you want to click on upload and after that the MC Packs website will provide you with two lines that you need to add to your server.properties file. So simply click here, Control C, then look for the server.properties file, which is located in the root of your Minecraft server directory. And here at the bottom, after the last line, you can simply press enter and paste in these two lines we just copied. Now, because we just pasted a resource pack and a resource pack SHA-1 line, I would recommend just removing the lines that were already present in the file. After that, you save content, restart your server, and the next time you now join your server it will prompt you to install the resource pack and this is now what it will look like we got the new subscribe text there we got the membercat.com domain there it's just looking great and you could see how easy it was to actually customize you just gotta know how but as soon as you know it's easy peasy so big shout out to coding cat for making this and a link to the github page can of course be found in the description and that's gonna be it for today make sure to subscribe to my channel join my discord thank you so much channel members and then i will see you in the next one Bye-bye, see you later. Bye-bye.